Hey, Chris and Larry family. So thank you for checking out our video today. I wanted to mention a few things before we got into it. This pie collab is hosted by my table of three. So check out their channel if you're not already uh, linked with them. It is called the 2022 Thanksgiving Pie Collaboration. Um, let's see. It's uh, there's gonna be a playlist link in our description below so make sure you check that out and there will be a live giveaway on November 28th on my table of threes channel at 7 p.m. Central Time uh, so make sure you check out everybody's pie collabs and there's a whole bunch of amazing amazing channels involved in this so to be eligible for winning those prizes you do have to watch all the videos, leave comments on each, just for your information, some of the prizes, there's could be some gift certificates, uh, some cookbooks and other related things. So definitely you wanna be a part of this. So again, thank you so much for checking out our video and remember, like, share, subscribe, ring a bell and we will see you on the next one. It started videoing. Oh. Hey, Chris and Larry family. She is taller than me too. They're all taller than me. All right, so what are we doing today? Making brownie truffle pie. Making brownie truffle pie. We're having to redo this video. We had some issues with some videos. So we are fixing this video again and getting it reloaded for the pie collab that was supposed to be Monday. And I apologize, you guys, it is Sunday of the next week. We were having some issues. I had no idea the video didn't work right. So Rowan is helping me. We're having a family dinner tonight. So why shouldn't we have pie with family dinner? And you're making brownies as well. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the brownie truffle pie keto, low sugar, low carb, or no sugar, because we're using special sugar. No car or low carb pie for those who can't have all the sugar. So watch our video. Okay, so what's the first step we have to do to make this keto brownie truffle pie? Almond flour. So what are we making first? Crust. The crust, okay. So we need? Almond flour, coconut flour, granulated sort of sweetener, salt, butter, and ice water. Perfect, so let's get the crust made. Okay, you ready? No, yes. <laughs> you need a cup and a quarter of almond flour and three tablespoons of coconut flour. What are you using for the sweetener and the pie crust instead of regular sugar? Monk fruit. Um, let's see, a monk fruit. We have swerve as well that we use often, but we only had powdered sugar swerve in the cabinet. So uh, just a tablespoon of the the monk fruit then. Okay, so all we need is some cold water and Rowan's adding that right now. Okay, and we're going to take the, our, one of our big serving forks is actually what I like to use to crush this all together. So get the big serving fork out and I want you to mush this and make this into pie dough. Okay, so what part are you making now, Rowan? The filling. The filling, and what is in the filling? What do you have to six add first? Six tablespoons cocoa powder. Okay, so six tablespoons of cocoa powder. Six tablespoons sugar. We're using monk fruit, but yes, the sweetener. Okay. One teaspoon baking powder. Baking powder, yeah. And what? A half cup of almond flour. A half cup of almond flour, perfect. For the dry ingredients. Then you're gonna go ahead and mix all of this up and then we're gonna add your wet ingredients. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. All right. Two eggs. Okay, and then you need five tablespoons of water and your melted butter. Yeah, I would do the water first because the butter's still hot. Okay, so you added your five tablespoons of water and now you're gonna do your melted butter in. All right, 
and you've got that stir in. And you're making your brownie innards. How's it taste? Good. You're a batter liquor. Yep. All right, so it looks really good. She's gonna scrape it around. The pie crust is done and ready for us to dump this in, and then we put it back into the oven for how long? Do you remember? No. 30 minutes and cook the brownie part. Okay, so we're adding the pie filling into the pie crust, and we're gonna put this back in the oven and let this cook. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Yep. What did you, <laughs> you're wiping the chocolate off your face, that's cool. What did you add to your batter right before you threw it in the oven? We added chocolate chips because we forgot. Yeah, these are Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. You just threw them on the top of the batter and then mushed them in. Mm -hmm. So we'll add that. And then what's we have left in this bag, which is not a lot, we'll put those on top of the whipping cream. Mm -hmm. She'll be good. All right, so what do you got there, sister? Okay, so there is the keto brownie pie. Hey, Chris and Larry family. So we've got the last part of our pie to complete. And with this brownie truffle pie, the last part is a uh, whipped cream topping. So it's going to take one cup of whipping cream, whole heavy whipping cream, which we use in our house a lot. We actually keep whipping cream in our refrigerator all the time. We're also going to use some... Um, some of our sweetener we're going to use two tablespoons of the um the sugar based sweetener which we're using monk fruit and then uh just a little quarter teaspoon of vanilla and some sugar-free dark chocolate we're going to do chocolate chips and put on top Okay, so once your heavy whipping cream and sugar and vanilla mixture hold a uh, peak like this, so holds its shape, then we can go ahead and dish that on top of the pie. You're gonna throw that pie back into the refrigerator and chill it back out um, until it's time to serve. Okay, add your chocolate toppings. This is just what was left over in the bag. You can shave um and grate down your chocolate if you want you can just add chocolate chips this had a lot of flakes in the bottom of the chocolate chip bag that i had um and these are the lily's sugar-free chocolate chips but we're gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and chill it out for another hour or so